Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Beagle Point Expedition and the uh, Dead End Circumnavigation Expedition meetup here at Beagle Point. I'm about to jump on the Discord com, so you'll get to hear everybody. Uh, as you can see, I'm parked here in my ship in Anaconda, and around us is a whole bunch of everybody else's ships. So let's go ahead and uh, get into it. Here we go. Long to be a medium. And the T7 is literally like a meter too tall to be a medium. And it, it's just bad design. <laughs> it's the same with real world aircraft. Helicopters are the same. You know, there's not much of a yeah, difference dude. between a, a large light and a small medium. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Looks like I've loaded with some of you in this instance. Gathering around the campfire. Sing our campfire zone. Great. I'm paralyzed in my ship now. Locked into the SRV bay. Won't get out. All right. Who remembered to bring the s'mores all the way from Colonia? I brought yeah, my uh, gang some brandy. When I was trying to oh, his I SRV. I've got some stuff too. I've got some party favors. Hold on. Let me go get it from my ship. <laughs> Same here, man. Party for the roof, big time. Yeah, you could sweep down. Twenty jobs. So I see shiny chicken here. So I don't know how many of us are. Are we all in the same instance, or a couple different ones at the moment? Oh wow, who's purple orca? That would be me. Hello, Chang Sotome. That that looks pretty. Dervushalin? Hell yeah, nobody's mad enough to bring an orca out to the edge of the rim, man. Except for me. There's a type ten here. That that, that would be the boss man, that's Henka. And he's he's fucking nuttier than I am, so. Looks yeah, like at least uh, two. We're, we're both DEC. Yeah, we're both DECE, and uh, like, yeah, we've got t at least two instances. So. And I'm glad I parked behind you because I can see that Type Ten would have probably crushed me on load in. I think we also got uh, Type Ten in our fleet. Oh really? Who you got flying? Or who you got flying to Type Ten? That would be Comet Born, but he's already on the way back. Mm. Man, like I, I'm, I, I want to fly my Type Ten on, a, on an expedition, but it, it's like even I've, I've actually plotted out its engineering, plotted out its jump range, and the best I could pull out of it is like probably 42 light years. Like guys who fly that, that's are enough, crazy. Though. It's yeah, enough. That's what my I think. My Anaconda is only 47. What's the Chieftain uh, got here, range-wise? So for those of you watching my stream right now, a quick introduction. This I'm, actually I'm did saying, take me five I, I months of gameplay on and off. I do play some other games, primarily EVE Online, to get, to get here. So it's, it's, and it's a lot of jumps, like like probably about a thousand jumps to get here. Uh, and that takes a while. you got to stop with right fuel, now. other shit. Uh, yeah, so it's quite an achievement for a lot of us to get here. Um, and most of these ships... Don't to get to, uh, it would take more jumps for most of these ships to get here than it would like mine. So ago, these people have so put in a heck of a lot of work so to get here. people who've actually been out there. Where's that? Western Meridian, the nearest jump to it, or the nearest The ship in the center of my screen is newer to the game, a Type 10, if I'm not mistaken so here. That purple ship is the Orca we're talking about earlier. We're at the edge of the Milky Way galaxy, complete and opposite end of Earth. So it, there's the center of the Milky Way galaxy from here. Earth is 65,000 and 200 plus light years away. Here's the local star of this system, right? And we're on the second planet out. At so we're real at, far if out. You're, if, you're, if you're at the limit, at least. Like, if you're, if you're an Anaconda with, like, 65 light years, it's not a problem. But for me, I literally, yeah, like I said, I'm at the limit, so it was tricky, but I did it, and I'm, I'm damn proud this of This is it. my ship here in the back with the cool green lights. It's an Anaconda. I'm going to take a bit of a break. I'll be back, guys. 
Yeah, I was out here before 3.0 release, so I haven't had a chance to re-engineer my condo yet. I haven't either. Here's some more. That looks like an ask. Actually, that's, that's a question I got because I, I, I notice every... We like, can go up to it. As you can see, the more you travel without anacondas. repairing your paint, you know, not like, having a station to dock As explorers flying anacondas, what are your opinions Let me just on these guys. the new engine? So, uh, you know, it degrades your paint. It degrades, among other things, like the structural integrity of your ship. So, uh, fortunately, your actual, your actual structure can be repaired by uh, hull bots that you can drag with you. Um, but this paint and other things cannot really be, uh, and your inner structure cannot be repaired unless you are in a station. And we've been out without a station, I'm sure some of us, are, for longer than months. Maybe some of us just a few weeks. Maybe some people who've sped out here really quick a few days. And these are the SRVs, the ground vehicles uh, that we get to drive around in. You'll see me drive up to a little uh, group of these here in just a moment. There's an odd bug in this game where you have to be really careful not to bump too hard, too much into people or other things. Because the more people in an instance, the more damage your SRV will take. Um, and that's, that means they'll get uh, destroyed rather easily. So you got to be careful. I'm on my last one. In exploration it's just a kind of bonus to whatever everybody else is already doing i don't really care too much about the challenge of getting out here i just if i'm gonna go on a deep expedition i'd rather have a ship that has like all those backups my my first trip out to colonia was in an asp with like a i think a maybe a 25 jump range yeah and <laughs> and and you know, almost lost my rover a couple of times, and it was long stretches between repair. You know, the Anaconda can stay out a hell of a lot longer and a lot more self-sufficient. And uh, I'm not, I'm not trying to like, gatekeep or be elitist or anything. I'm just actually curious about other explorers because, like, th like I know DECE is kind of nuts, but this is my first expedition. Like, I've not actually been on one before. This is my first time actually being out with a group. Before this, I was flying a T6 solo out in the Formidine Rift, you know, so. But I'm just curious about what people think about the way things are moving towards just this constant expansion of jump ranges and all that. So the question, I guess, is, is this, and I mean, this, if you bear with me, so, the sort of so what? So, so I guess it makes travel quicker because there's fewer jumps. But are there, apart from those stars that are, you know, really way out, of, you know, unreachable. Is there a list of, like a roster of unreachable stars that are just out of reach? Like either further out from here or... Um, yeah. Not really out of... I mean, no, the Western farthest Meridian, one on this end. Western Meridian is pretty far. The, I think one that's out of reach that everybody kind of wants to go to, even if they don't know about... Like, as soon as you know about it, you want to go there, is a Cygni X3 which is, I think, 300 light years from the closest star. Yes, that's the question. That it, like it, 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 it is in terms of just making it easier to get to Beagle, then fine. But, but is it actually expanding the kind of reachable universe? Or is it just a kind of a, you know, is it a speed issue, which is less interesting? Well, they only increased the jump range a, a little bit, which was just, you know, kind of a god roll from the old system anyway. So, at least in terms of engineering the modules, I don't know if any of the newer ships don't seem to have any longer jump ranges, do they? And nice Diamondback um, Explorer there, the, man. Uh, that was my first. I, I, well, I mean, the, uh, the, 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 the Guardian blueprint for the, uh, the Guardian jump booster or whatever was basically supposed to add a instantly add base 10 uh light years oh uh, yeah that's right that would be that could get you up to 80 85 easy in a conda or a diamondback maybe yeah but if that's the point i guess if there are stars that come within reach every 
but um, get a Guardian module and you can reach a style that no one's been to and it's kind of got some interesting stuff there. If I was Frontier, I'd be placing things in those systems, personally, you know, and actually you'd be pushing the Frontiers, right? That's what it's called. Well said. I left that bubble with the distant world expedition, so all this engineering stuff is uh, lost on me. But I think I'll head back after the uh, Beagle Point expedition is done and uh, do some engineering on my Conda. Uh, I can push it to 34.7 uh, on fumes. Yeah, go on. Uh, it'd be good to get, to get your stock ship. Like I say, the you know, bigger point was the limit, and then it was Isham's reach with the new frontier. And then there'll be, I guess, I don't know what's out beyond there. Is there anything any beyond Isham? Is that it, basically? I think there's nothing further out. I mean, there's there's obviously some appeal to being able to get to a star that only a few can get to. But for me, it's more just about there's so many unexplored systems still out there. So even if it's not unreachable, um, it, there's still so much out to see. Oh, so I just said, I, mean, I mean, you're absolutely right with that. I mean, like, I've, I've literally been like, I'm, I'm fucking nobody, and this is my first expedition. This is my third time to Beagle Point, technically, but all of that has been during DECE. I rushed out here before 3.0 to actually record the planet surfaces, and then make a video. I re I got here the day before 3.0 dropped, recorded all the planet surfaces. And then loaded in the day afterwards and loaded all the new planet surfaces of Beagle Point to make a video of it, of their comparison, comparative changes. But like, I, I, I've been, I, I, there, there, there are systems 150 light years from us right now that have not been explored. Well, that's, that, that's the thing about people say, look in your back garden, don't they? You, know, you, you take a hundred light year cube in Sega and there's, and what? Thousands, tens of thousands of stars that, that no one's been to at all, ever. You just gotta watch out for that that name that we all know. We all know it, but we don't say it. At least not, <laughs> at, at least not in DECE. I don't, I don't know, know it. We all Can know it. Validating? But the A word. Uh, I don't know the name. I've come across a lot of those guys' systems. I feel like I know who you're talking about uh, wait, 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 when I you live on the when you live on the edge of the rim you know his name intimately yeah, the a -word. and quite a bit oh, between the both yeah the a, the a word yeah that's a good way of saying it <laughs> <laughs> lucky i've yeah. never seen it <laughs> yeah you've same, seen yeah. it the the a -word. Word. So I hit one little rock, lost half my health, and really appreciate the uh, where you can repair with the 50 or 100 percent extra buff. It's useful, but it doesn't mean a whole lot when you when you collide with the ground. I mean, F Dev has a serious problem with SRV damage in groups. Yep. Well, I found the premium repair, the 200 percent to hull, is quite useful, and it stays with you. Um, if you board your ship and let your ship repair your SRV, you still keep the premium repair. Yeah, oh, yeah, that definitely. Like, that is yeah, so. That is so good. Like we've had, we've had races in uh, in DEC. We've had races where it's like everybody's like, find a system where you can like get your 100% repair, and then fully repair up, do a race of two or three laps, and then get back in your ship and, and get it all back. So, so, so actually, just quickly on the A word. I don't want to be like a bit too clicky about it. Uh, Beagle Point Nine, first discovered by. <clears throat> <laughs> Ex yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Thirteen jumps. I mean, I, I like the guy. I, I mean, he gave me honors personally when uh, I both discovered. One of the furthest uh, Earth likes from. Well, Trevor discovered it, and then I went back and reported it and got my name on it because we had a race. But uh, he he gave us both props for finding the furthest Earth-like world from 
from uh from Sagittarius, I think, and then literally like two days later he found a new one. So it was like, what's the point? Oh, okay. Thank you. Hey, whoever. Why are we not saying his name? Is it just because we can't pronounce it? Oh no, I don't mind. It, I let Neil. He's just he's just a. a Okay. He's, he's been everywhere. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. I'll, 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 no, is a legend, and uh, he has all the records, but he doesn't have the record, which uh, that like I, I'm 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 ashamed of my mistakes, and I own my mistakes personally. But uh, if you go on uh, what is it, EDSM, and you look at Stellar Records, the record is right there, and it's all because of DECE number one. Hey, you ever just landed in that anaconda and had a difficult time with it? Congratulations, it was a dream. I think the Woo! only I have is the most B class stars in a single system. Like, I found one system with six of them, but uh, nothing else so far. Like I, I've 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 found and lost so many records so quickly, so fast. But uh, having that that number one, that uh, what is it, an O class? What is it? Hold on, let me check. Yeah, furthest star from Sol. Oh. Yeah, O class, furthest star, number one. There you go. Just just scratch out my name and write D E C E in there because it wouldn't have been found without them. So it would appear I'm in a different instance this time. Let's reload. Where has been like your favorite places where you have been, or the hardest places? Who, who do you mean? Yes, like uh, a place where you feel proud, where that you managed, or like uh, like you were might you were even thinking you might not be able to get there, but you actually did get there. So that kind of places. Oh, um, I mean, I, like for me as being in DECE. Western Meridian was one, but that's like I literally engineered my whole ship to get there. Um, other than that, it's not really about places I've been that I've been like I'm not sure I'm gonna get here. It's just things that I found, weird stuff that like nobody else has ever looked at or seen. Like there, there, there are literally two clusters of uh, brown dwarfs on the edge of the galaxy that nobody has ever touched and i went there to find out that nobody's ever touched them and it's like i need to fucking at some point i need to come back here and actually explore all these and scan them all and like do a proper survey like a like a proper explorer but for now i'm i'm just i'm just running i'm just running as fast as i can and that's what i that's literally what i do for for the expedition i run as fast as i can like Everyone else is flying, you know, one to two, one to two thousand light years a day, but for me, on a good day, I'm doing ten to fifteen, and I'm out there in front, ahead of everybody, looking for base camps or looking for interesting points that maybe they, people want to visit between our waypoints. I don't think I can travel that much per day. I mean. The most I have done is probably not much more than 10,000 and those are days where I pretty much don't have anything else to do and I just feel so burnt down. Like, uh, well, I, I, I live a thousand light years below the below the uh, plane though too, so the Neutron Highway is my best friend. Yeah, in an anaconda, in a 60 light year anaconda, you can do 5,000 light years an hour, so 10,000 light years is just a couple hours of flying. Oh, it's yep. just that I don't, I, well, I... I have a 55 uh, light year jump wrench in an ASP, so that's good, but I don't uh, find too many uh, neutron stars around the, the rim, so that's why I haven't really been using it, but maybe around the core I would. Yeah, they're, well, they're not they're not really in the rim, and especially out here up, no, up in the northern section, there's really not a lot out here, so like I have to deal with standard travel the same as everybody else, which is... I mean, to me, it's infuriating. Like, it's it's. I grind my teeth every every couple jumps. I'm just like, oh, there are no neutron stars. What is this? Because I'm addicted to them. I I am literally addicted. Ask anybody in the circumnavigation chat, and they're just like, 
Yeah, neutron stars are literally a drug to Chank. He's addicted to it. I uh, <clears throat> I had quite a, quite a hard time with the far end of the Perseus arm trying to finish up BCE. That was kind of the there was a couple spots. Um, I think it was like the south, Wait. the south meridian, and then the uh, why is far, far end of the Perseus arm. I think it was like the last two waypoints before you headed back towards the pole. I think Berlum Bell Murtok was saying something. What was that? I was going to ask, why is there no EDSM badge for visiting Beagle? Uh, because they set a uh, 65,000 light year badge rather than a Beagle badge. Yeah, it's kind of like a more general uh, badge. I mean, if you already got beyond 65,000 lighters, you very likely will visit Beagle because it's kind of like the most popular place around here. Although I found, I find the, uh, uh, how was it called? Oh, Samotus Beagle more, uh, more appealing, personally. So about Samotus Beagle, um, does any one or group, because I was looking around the forums and doesn't seem to be anything all that active lately, take care of the uh, farthest distance from Soul Record? Farthest distance from Seoul is still uh, the uh, from basically from Beagle Point. If you look about a hundred light years further north on the plane, there's a star out there, and that's literally it. There's yeah. nothing close to it or nothing yeah, beyond it. The, yeah, that that system with Samotus Beacon, and then you can go out past that with your warp drive to set the record. I'm wondering if anyone takes care of that. So I have a specific interest because I'm going to try to set that record. Last one I could find anyone. Don't get stuck. I do yeah. know that there, no doubt. Are, there are stars that are even more uh, far away from Seoul than uh, Semotus Beacon, but they are certainly impossible to reach, so I honestly doubt uh, the record will be broken anytime soon, like, if at all. Oh, I have a. I, look, I can warp for at least 100 hours. I think I'll break it. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it, it, at that point, it's not even actually, like, hyper-jumping to another system. It's, like, going from the system and just traveling as far as you can before you run out of fuel. Yeah, with hopefully not interrupted because you don't want to re-accelerate. Just a Sol um, distance update, then. If, if you were to travel like that and then lock to Sol, does the distance reflect? That, that, that mm, if you um, if you lock the soul and then leave the map, yes. Unfortunately, I don't have a permit, so I'll have to lock Astral Centauri and then do the difference of the light years between them. Good enough. Yeah, like how much can you actually travel with uh, a lot of fuel uh, loaded in and uh, very very uh, little energy consumption? I so can. I've yeah, at least a hundred hours. The person who tried to set that record needed rescued by the fuel rats, so she only went fifty hours. So about like ten light years. I got a lot. Yeah, it, it, I, I, if I did the math right, I think it's two point six hours to travel at full speed to travel one light year. That's actually not that much, considering like. You take one hour to get from uh, to cross all the way to uh, Huton Orbital, which is like what one fifth of a light year away from Alpha Centauri. Yes, and it appears to take just under an hour to accelerate the full speed. At least when you were anywhere, you know, when accelerating from the star. I don't know if I were to come out of warp and accelerate again. I know it's not instant, but it might take a while. Maybe yeah, uh, this trick might be more useful to actually reach some stars that are quite uh, far away, but well, I mean, yes, that they are not possible to reach, but maybe by just traveling quite a while, it's, it's, you might be able to. Unfortunately, it makes no difference. It, and well, and unfortunately, you can't warp as far over all that time as you could get in, like, you know, something and jump, or something and put Jumponium in and jump. Because that's hundreds of light years as opposed to, as opposed to like 20 or 30 or 40. 
you have to jump to load the system. So even if you do the journey, you don't actually have to fly. I mean, it's, it, it, it's a jump event that, that loads the stars and planets and does all the procedural generation, so you can't actually do it unless you do a jump. And the distance travelled in system doesn't make any difference to the distance that the jump drive uses. Really? Yep, really. Oh, that sucks. It has actually been tried, but uh, the hyperspace sequences are kind of load screen. Actually, that's really good to know. I didn't know that. That's really important. That means I can go farther. Is that way I don't have to worry about covering the last 50, 40 light years I travel? Because it's map distance, right? And map distance is star to star only. Yep. Good to know. Listening to the lineup of SRVs and ships as the SRV scanner goes across them and beeps and yells at me, I'm kind of wondering if I, if I could actually land and position people in a sequence to make a proper, like, like EDM beat. <laughs> yes. I, I know it sounds ridiculous, and it would take a lot of work, but I'm just wondering. I'm just thinking in my head weird, weird stuff like I always do. Ladies and gentlemen, I have arrived. Hey, welcome, welcome. Hooray. Oh my goodness, is that, is that really him? Oh, that's gross. I'm not, I'm not seeing him in here, so that must have been somebody else's voice, but uh, I know Nimdoc also landed at the same time somebody that you said that, so... Oh yeah, no, I'm just in system. I'm scanning Beagle Point, um, and I also need to switch over to the Fleet Com group. Uh, I, just, I I got all excited. I was like, "Oh hail the pr the king is here." <laughs> we 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 are we are we are we are memeing a faux religion in DEC, <laughs> all based around Nimdoc. The, 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 the Nimdoc basically Nimdoc basically motivated the type of commander and explorer that I have become and which is why I can say you know yeah I'll do five I'll do four or five K a day normally 10 K a day if I push it and 15 K a day if I need like it's all because of him and uh, it, it's become kind of an in joke in the uh, circumnavigation group that we actually call it we actually have a thing called the Nimdok Maneuver, <laughs> if you look it up. Oh, what's that about? That's interesting. Oh, the Nimdok Maneuver, it, it, it's literally to go, basically, if, if, you were to, if you were at point A and point B is directly in front of you, 
you go 90 degrees perpendicular to point B. So basically, if 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 your A and B is in front of you, you turn you turn to your right, and you travel at 90 degrees for a thousand light years. Then, after a thousand light years, you turn 90 degrees left, turn a thousand light years, and then turn 90 degrees left and backtrack a thousand light years before going to where you actually meant to go. <laughs> right of like a square That's... shape. I thought that was a pretty much standard maneuver to avoid uh, running into uh, <laughs> already scanned stuff. Hey, well, so it, it, just it's, to... it's it's a it's a common maneuver, but like the fact that it's it's exactly ninety degrees, turn ninety degrees, turn ninety degrees, then turn ninety degrees, then turn ninety degrees, and go back, is what makes it. But I I have personally expanded that, so it's no longer a thousand light years. It's turn ninety degrees and travel ten thousand light years. So then don't turn... freak out. If you're in an SRV, I probably won't crush you. So, so basically, I've, I've basically just added a zero to the Nimdok maneuver myself because I am his, uh, I'm his number one most trusted and faithful head priest of the of the of the meme religion. <laughs> I'm popping off of the memorial, then I'm going to come visit. What planet we landed on? Uh, two. Beagle oh, yeah. right next to the memorial. Wonderful. Say, yeah, it's right next to the memorial. I'm going to reset my computer really fast. I'll be back in like five minutes maximum. Yeah, mine crashed and I got dumped from the instance, so looks like we yeah. got at least three now. I'm going to be uh, restarting it just after I post my application to the 65,000 light year club. Is there a new round four for that? The last one I saw hasn't been updated since September. It was round three. Yeah, there's a, a sticky poster in the forums. Uh, I don't have any forums, but if any of you can throw it into one of the Discord public channels, that'd be great. Thank you. And much appreciated. And okay, it looks like I can get a little closer. I had a um, really dangerous discovery running. It actually crashed my computer while I had a uh, really dangerous pulse game. Oh crap, I didn't hit somebody, did I? If anybody else is doing the same, then you're getting booted. FYI. Commander Bell Murtock, looking for a wing invite. There is an anaconda hovering above my head that doesn't realize that no. when you aim when you aim down at the ground, you can't keep control over your uh, stabilizers. Oh, okay, okay, you, you okay. Have, you, you have, you have to, to aim, aim up. You have to aim up. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. I didn't. Did, uh, do I owe anyone any material? Oh no, no. I'm like I'm I'm I'm. Uh, that, that's the thing we learned in uh in 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 uh in in DECE is uh, if you aim up, you stay stabilized. Pendulum effect. Yeah, I wasn't trying. To it was, was kind of funny. I, I, I'm not, no, it's it's hilarious to me because I'm the one you're directly above, and I don't really care because it, it means trying so me, hard for me. Whatever for me, whatever happens, you know, it's like like I can I can sit here and be like, oh, Colonia, it's only forty six thousand light years away, but I know for yeah, no, I think from the tail end, I'd probably that. just I'd probably crush like two of you. So maybe this ending is such a good idea from that direction. Oh, no, don't worry about it. I'm just, it's, uh, like, for, like I said, for me, not a problem. If I lose an SRV or two or all of them, I don't really care. I'll just, I will literally fly across the galaxy, go get them, and be back in a week. So, it's not, I, it's not. I'm bad. on my last one, so I'm sensitive to people's suffering. I do like the pink jets, though. Uh, I appreciate that. I'm a fan of the purple. Hot pink. Let's get that straight. Yes, I it's, mean, hot, it's hot pink. Well, because the anaconda doesn't show the purple jets very well. The uh, so, 
the the lake on ships show the purple jets pretty good as do the Saud Kruger, but the uh like the 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 the, the fertile lands are the anaconda that and some of those they don't show right. purple very it show, it looks it looks so, like blue it looks Could like you guys blue. all just move back just a little make the circle just a little bigger so I don't pendulum them in you. I just want to take a quick picture of this and then I will uh move it out of the way. Can I get it? Can I get an invite? Who is asking? I see if you see. Commander Belmer talk. I don't think we're friends. Uh, yeah. Anyone here? Hello? Anyone? Hello? Yeah, one of our explorer friends needs an invite, a uh, wing invite. Uh, looks like I am no, not in the main instance. Oh, um, but hey, so th I I know this is weird, but for Beagle Point Expedition, if you haven't been there, or no, excuse me, if you have been there, uh, seek ya VZM D82, which is Maya's Mountain. She hasn't been back to get her name tagged on the planet. Um, not gonna say how to deal with that or do anything just you know let you know it's 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 her find and we're hoping that we can make it a point of interest because it's it's really cool it's a 20 kilometer high mountain out of nothing and uh oh i think i saw a screenshot earlier of that that thing is awesome yeah i mean if you want to visit i definitely i would advise it um but you know like returning exploration data i don't know how people do that like I'm I'm I generally manage it pretty pretty much like a system by system basis until I'm after, until I'm at the end of an expedition or at the end of my own fucking run or whatever, and then I'm just like turn it all in. So I'm sure you guys are gonna turn it in. Somebody's gonna get credit for it and all that stuff. But just, you know, when it comes into uh, being requested for a point of interest, you know, make make sure that Maya gets credit for it. Um. And yeah, uh, Huskier, Bravada, like Wing that. Beacons? We can get you in. But yeah, anyone who's doing something like points of interest or Wind something, Beacon should be on. trying to get them to quickly get to... Uh, uh, is someone station. under me doing that on purpose, or am I hitting somebody that's 90 and I need to move? I Are you okay? Uh, notching on this UV. Wing uh, Beacon is on. Coming into Bravada. No, somebody is intentionally driving directly underneath you. And okay, okay, just want to make sure. You. Hit anyone AFK. Three people in super cruise here with me. I mean, if you know me from EVE Online, I'm a total dick, but you know. That's EVE Online. And, and, and who, who, whoever was trying to fly their SRV into you just crashed my game. So, uh... That bastard. Shall we try to move over to your instance? Because this one's getting less and less populated, I feel. Someone asked Alright, I'm done, thank you. I know funny because actually it's a bit less laggy than the yesterday. Or yeah, it's, I... a bit less laggy. Okay, could I request a wing invite, please? Who said that? Uh, Shimoza Shinta. I do not think we are friends. Um, but I know a few people on this channel are with me, so... I'm looking. We have like 10 people left here now. Got it, thanks. Yeah, who, whoever that was, they're, uh, by flying into you and causing, uh, shield collisions, it, it threw me out of the, uh, instance and crashed me, but I'll be back. And in greater numbers. Um, well, I'm, I'm just... How many people are we Is Just the Chief Star Wars, Jeff. I'm, I'm... Uh, I'm, not, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure if I. I'm not sure if I should laugh or feel uncomfortably. You should feel dirty. <laughs> like yeah, it's, I'm, it's one or the not other. This is if you are looking for. No, it's 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 way worse than that. It's there's a. It's definitely sexual. It's. <laughs> <laughs> really dangerous after dark. Well, it is pretty dark out here. We're on the edge of the galaxy, so. Uh, Man pile? Oh boy. I take a hard pass. 
that's not it. Yeah, let's get some wing invites. Someone wanna wing I'm me. still in a wing with uh, a Pootsiak, or however that is pronounced. Yeah, it's close enough. I see a whole King, do you need a wing invite? I do, yes. Just pop me one and I, I can leave it so you, people, other people can grab it too. Currently orbiting hey. around like specific area. I'm trying to find you, buddy. Four wing invites all the exact same time. I'm just going to pick the first one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Someone put their wing beacon on. You guys remember the time where there was an NPC that was kind of attacking us at the beginning of the expedition? Yeah, and I had to kill him. But I fucked up while doing so, big time. Wow, fire phrase. Whoever's dancing in though, is that a cutter or a the white ship, silver, black, spinning? Anyone? That's me, it's a clipper. Clipper. Beautiful, dude. That looks pretty good for having been out way out way out here. I wanna well, yeah, it's a white paint job on top of the regular white paint job, so it's uh the base actually helps a lot. I want to have tunnel boring machines. Literally. Uh, Oops, talk to Elon Musk. Yeah, the boring company. We need that up in this game. <laughs> Seriously, we do. Special hey. SRVs to go underground. Tunnels and chambers underground. Uh oh, I think it was I my turn to crash. the ground before in the SRV. <laughs> This isn't Minecraft. Game engine doesn't allow for that. Oh, I crashed. I thought I was invincible. <laughs> oh, where have all the ships gone? I've been away getting a bite to eat. You thought you were the lizard oh, king. Man. You thought you could do anything. Uh, famous last words. Yeah, and thanks, Chief. For myself. Yeah. Are we gonna have a couple of SRVs and SLS exploding this time? Just for good old. Uh, yes, I had brought plenty. Did people? Sorry, I, I was just getting a bite to eat. There were some some low wakes. Did I miss something? Tell me, was the jump? When is the big um, meetup? For it should be at 20 o'clock officially. 20 hundred, so three hours from now? 20, yes, yeah, so, yeah. so, so there was, this right now is the quote meeting meetup. Uh, Henka and Macros are going to have their live stream for DECE in two hours, I think. And then an hour after yes. that is when there's going to be group events and maybe a launch to somewhere even though most of us are probably gonna jump one star and then come right back so yeah come right back this is this is the big place good because i want to know when's the optimum time for me to dump all my cargo in the middle of an srv circle it's going to be a no feast. launch oh because uh it's no launch. Food, ragnar drink, i did attempt booze, everything. i did attempt one already and you got to be careful you have to do it on a side instance that someone's streaming on because if there's too many people they immediately blow up it's so sad damn i loaded in an instance yeah, with nobody you gotta, you gotta go to get in an instance with like 10 people instead of the 20 and then you can drop a bunch reinstancing the necessary or the necessity to reinstance is perfectly routine because there's so so many people here so what i think i'm the in the same the instance so now as a <laughs> I see up to seven. You seem to be leaking something green there, sir. 
<laughs> it's Thargoid blood. Not star, not Thargoid gonorrhea. Oh, oh. Well, I'm, I'm green, so it could be me. Yeah, <laughs> my ship runs on Thargoid blood. My ship runs on limpid drones. My ship runs on lemons. Only so many gonorrhea jokes you can make in a day. My ship runs on my space madness. I'm saying that after Mine muting myself on discussion. Bourbon whiskey. Damn. No one in this instance. Do I need to join a wing and then rejoin an instance? Pretty much. Yeah, basically. Join a wing, pop out, and then come back in. Anyone want to pop Keith Drow an invite? Yeah, I'll need one too. I see yeah, me too. In the distance. Thanks, Rex. All right. Yep, yep. We have the uh, campfire illuminated. I don't know if we're going to try and go a survey circle, drink some ale. It's not a campfire without a fire, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, funny. Does anyone need repairs before I land? I'm doing repairs too, if anyone needs them. I could need some. Well, 93%. <laughs> if you call, call, can call that needing repairs. Are, well, I load. I, I load. Needed some repairs. I mean, I dropped myself down to 70, so I kind of needed them. My Are goodness. any of the SRVs streaming right now? I dropped like all the way to 40. I see the circle, yeah. It's, one. well, it's not. I'm really an instance yet. with one person. There's your campfire. Oh, wow. oh shit. <laughs> we just had a fire. Uh, we just had an SFF go boom. I was wondering if. You're welcome. Who was that? I didn't even that see That was me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dude. Shit. Oh, man. I got There's that your campfire. <laughs> Hey, could Keith Kudrow get a wing invite again? What did we lose? An SLA. Who needs a wing invite? Sorry? Got it, thanks. All good. All good. I need one as well. I need one. It's alright. I have um, 13 more after the one that I'm in right now. So, 14 total. Um, did any of the SRVs in the circle get... Uh, knocked back by the, the explosion because it looked like did not it looked like debris and some SRVs flying backwards after it exploded. That was that was pretty close, but I'm still at 100. Oh, yeah. Nagi, I've got you. Where are you? Hello. Um. Right Hello. Now. Are we? Um, yeah, Nagi. This is round two. Nagi, I want to pull up a bit off the ground. It needs to be. I need a little bit of space for you. Oh well, I'm with eight people. I'm with four or five people. It'll do. Hopefully, Ruckus is out there. I got a beer for you, Ruckus. I landed my uh, SLS. I was gonna say we could use some of that conga ale. I don't know if we drank it all last night. Well, I I brought a. Uh, I'll bring some out. Hang on a second. I'll bring some out. I bought a Jack a Jacques Quint Quintinian still. Yeah. So we can just make booze for everybody. Is that the one that makes alcohol out of anything? Yep. Yes. And a hunting mug to pour it in. And I'm going to kick them both out the airlock when I when I set that record. Yeah, but you don't want to drink booze out of a hunting mug. Hunting mugs are for coffee. That's true. <laughs> but <laughs> he's I the hot. But only Canadians know that, so to hell with it. Right, thank cool. you, sir. No problem. I've got a few bug problems on my uh, right, you guys are gonna SLF. Do problem. I only have one conga A left, and I would rather save I think that you only got an SRP on top of it, too. So what other booze would you like? Would you oh. like some rum, some whiskey, some wine? Vodka. Do you have any Lavian brandy? Oh, how about yes, me? I yes, I do. I'll drop one of those. How's that? Lavian brandy coming up. I'm gonna try to drop it in the middle of you guys' SRVs, alright? 
All right. All right, so this is my third of four. If it explodes, whatever. Ragnar, you've already seen me explode like three SRVs over the past couple trips. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Damn, trying to find a parking spot. I think I just... Yep, I just crashed them all. I tried doing the camera bug, and uh, that broke my game. <laughs> yep, I'm I'm looking at a slideshow of go. zero FPS. One Levy and Brandy. I missed the Levy and Brandy drop, and I'm the one who ordered it. My game is. Crazy. I got that. I got the drop. Well, that, right. that short flight uh, seemed to fix my FPS problems. Come on, you know Levy and Brandy's well. chick drink. Yeah, I'm gonna put the other Levy. Hey, 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 don't take that. That's don't bogart that. That's for everybody, my man. The idea is to spit it out in the middle of the circle, with the SRVs. So that way we can all enjoy it. Where'd you go? I get one as well. Seeing a bunch of SRVs fighting over a bottle of lithium brandy. I didn't say we're fighting over it, we're just enjoying it. Enjoying it roughly. <laughs> nice. Of a future without intimacy. Yeah. Oh man. It's gonna happen anytime soon. Oh, uh, speaking of a lot of people, um, if you guys want, we have an entire week here. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, want to get their um, all. What what do you call it? Um, all elites on all four things, but nobody ever wants to touch CQC unless they're playing with other people. Yes, yes. Uh, gonna... I promise you, it is a thousand times more fun if you play with friends instead of randoms, because the randoms are usually level fifty and will pretty much obliterate you. So, I oh, yeah, I thought it'd be kind of fun really to really get a few groups together and just kind of play deathmatch and screw around. A bunch of explorers trying to kill each other since we don't get that, that much. So in other words, BPE <laughs> plays CQC. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Acronyms yeah, for pretty... days. CQC is like. Months, yeah, it takes a while, yeah. See, I just but CQC around here. to practice for when I have to be a fighter. How does yeah, exactly. CQC even work? Um, can you it's, choose a it's different a, ship, or is it just, just your ship that you got from the main game? No, 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 no. It's, it's a, a separate ship completely. Game. It's separate it's from the mode. game completely. Yeah. So you immediately mm -hmm. immediately got access to all weapons and ships, or do you have to do something you first? You have to work it's on a, them. No, you still yeah, have it, to get them. Every level you get specific kinds of upgrades and stuff to fighters. And I think you also, as well as fighters, there's the... Uh, what, what are the ships? Are this? Eagle side and Sidewinder. And I think that's it. You but start yeah, off as a so that's all five of those ships. Eagle, the or Car Condor, and the, yes, the Condor fighter. Just but yeah, each one has different perks and stuff, and then each one has different guns that you can like manage and move around. And once you get a good loadout, you start doing well, you'll get better. And basically, you play to win. So the higher you go up, the higher of a chance you're going to win whatever match you go into. So say you're level 25, you go against a bunch of level 2s. 
you're gonna have way better crap. So you play to win. Okay. Hey, wait, move. Wait, wait, wait. There, was, there was an awesome series of front flip, uh, front flips there. <laughs> hey, move. Perfect. You're on camera, yeah, well, and whoever's in that fight. But also, oh, even if you it. don't win every time, you still do get advancement. So it's not like you'll never get there. Why did my crew commander literally just boost towards the ground? <laughs> <laughs> like right in front of me, just boosted straight at the ground. Are you kidding me? Hold on. Did it touch it? Oops. The shields are still up. That was surprising. Holy shit. That scared me to death. Come on, get your brakes on, get your brakes on. I'm on an anaconda too, and like, holy shit. Alright, am I in the same instance that I was before? No, I don't see you. I don't think I am. Woohoo! Nah, I'm like being fired player. in the back. Why do you guys think that Type 1 fighter isn't in CQC? Like, it's kind of weird, don't you think? Hey, you hit my ship! But yeah, if you guys get bored of uh, doing this after the meetup in a couple hours here, if you guys get bored of that in a little while, then maybe a few of us can go into CQC. It only takes, a, what, eight people to make a full queue? So, I mean, a deathmatch game is like eight people. So, it will, one, make the game immediately. So, it's either four or eight people you can get a group. I think it might be just four. But if we get two groups, then boom, you get a game. And a bunch of people, if you guys want to, just farm the rank a little bit. Even a little bit. Yes. Who's in that? Uh, who's in the blue and silver fighter? Uh, somebody want to wing me back in? I uh, crashed, so. Is CQC uh, okay. free for all deathmatch or team deathmatch? There's deathmatch, um, team deathmatch, and capture the flag. Yeah, the regular death, like free for all, is probably the best one. It's honestly the easiest because it's basically kill anyone on site. Yeah, it's, it's a lot easier to deal with uh, for the style that it is. It's They tried making an eSport out of it. That's what they were going to try and get it into for younger people, but it didn't take off very well because it's not a game that's designed to be able to do that very well. So it's just kind of a side game. But it's it's cool. It's a cool mini game. I enjoy it. What a lot. I think would be really cool is if, if you can like access it from inside your ship as a mini game. Just like that would be play so video games much inside easier. your ship. You know how awesome that'd be dealing with? Like Dude, like seriously, system panel, like, oh hey, I wanna open up my oh, thing and then we you, have like, a wing of people. Hey, we invite my wing to uh, a lobby CQC. and we just go play video games. Yeah, exactly. It's like oh we're tired Stay of off getting space blown up in, you know. Um, yeah, these combat zones and small ships, so let's just blow the shit out of each other in CQC. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> take out your, no, take you out your fights over there. Kill your friends. Have some fun. Yeah, you don't lose anything. In fact, I think you make credits by dying. Yes, you do. You make <laughs> so, credits and you by... actually get them into the real game, so you'll, you'll be yep. fine. It's great. You've just created a, 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 a submission, right? You need to write it up. So you've got, you've got something like a... I mean, it's like not much credits. Like, you can't, like, farm it for credits and make millions, but... Yeah, it's a couple hundred here and there, but you're not losing credits, you're making credits. But honestly, Either way, if it's a lot of credits... Money. If you think it's a lot of credits to you, and you're out here, you should... you're gonna make a lot of credits when you get back home. <laughs> yeah, if, if you think if you think CQC is gonna make you a lot of credits and you've made it to Beagle Point, then your exploitation data is gonna make you one hell of a... It's gonna blow, blow you away. Tree. If you're yeah. lucky, it might make yeah. you like a few billion. Wait, wait. I was about to say, I've already made credits? over a billion off this expedition so far. You actually well, if you're doing DCE, it's a different thing. A lot less people do circumnavigation. CQC is earning you credits for the main game? Yeah. Well, yeah. Not much, but yeah, still does. Yeah, it's a little bit, but when you win matches and stuff, you get a little bit of a reward. Plus, there's other stuff too. And uh, you also get your rank, so that's good. Quad um, elite. I could actually go for a CQC game right now. Oh, are we? I mean, I'm down. Let me just get down. We'll lose the, the instance though. We'd have to re-instance everyone. Ah, whatever. That's not hard. 
everyone learn how to fly here a little bit. Everyone's not in it and anyway. There's probably at least three of them, from what I can really tell. Bad at flying. Do CQC yeah, like to me. get better at it. Yeah, I, I brought 16 for practice. And I've already used two for uh, campfires. I have six Taipans. So I had six, but then I very quickly turned that into one, so I went back and got more. Very quickly turned that into one. Yeah, I had six <laughs> six fighters, six Taipans, and then I had um, five, two five, SRVs. And after blowing up one SRV and five Taipans, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go get four SRVs and 16 Taipans. Much easier to deal with. And flew all the way back out to be a good point. So. Yeah, I think we still have um, an hour and 45 minutes. Call it an hour and a half. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of time. Um, Until the uh, live stream starts, too. Yeah, I'm in game if anybody wants to. So, yeah, if anyone wants to queue up, then just make sure whoever's wanting to play is uh, friends with each other. It's a lot easier to invite people if you're friends. Alright, I'm gonna. Ooh, I love the teal on that uh, G97. Yeah, let's do it. I've got no SRVs left, so I'm itching to do something. Let's, uh... let's do it. Alright, let me yeah. land. Because I want to at least be on the planet. Deep, bro. Yeah, that's the arena. Actually, I guess it really doesn't matter since we're all leaving anyway, so... Yeah, I'll just hover. Alright, yeah, um, I'm gonna pop out and, uh... Whoever wants to join me, I can invite if you're on my friends list. You mean uh, to a CQC match? Yeah, yeah, we could just screw around, oh. kill each other. Oh, yes. Why not? I would look. I would like to do that. Yep, I'm game. Let me uh talk up. Yeah, same. Sounds All right. Ruckus, right. you staying in? If you would, send me a wing. I actually just dipped out. I'm sending invites in the uh, CQC mini. Alrighty. Who's doing Ooh. the CQC? Who should I add? Pretty much everybody. You can add King Inferno, Commander K I N G underscore I N F three R N zero. Super hard to remember. It's been so long since right. I tried CQC. I think the last time I tried it I was know, just, right? just because like I was exploring and I kind yeah. of got bored and said, Oh, let's try CQC. Like I have never tried it. Alright. It's a lot it's of fun, so trust me. It's just difficult to get a game if you just join it randomly. Yeah, exactly. But if you have, like, a bunch of groups just all together in a Discord like this, then we'll definitely find a game probably with each other, too. Yeah, yeah so. because there is no such thing as NPCs for CQC. All right, I'm a complete oh, no, I just walked up this cruise. I'm an FPS player, so uh, NPCs are the same thing as bots. And we have a joke about bad players being bots because they're so bad at the game. So, uh, that says see a lot who, about me. Who turns into a bot? <laughs> Ruckus, I think you want to wait for one more. Yeah, we had, at least. We had Keith in here and he left. Oh, I'm not interested, sorry. Yeah. Oh. Can somebody add three elites is enough for me. INF3 are in zero. It's a little hard to. You can copy paste it from Discord if it doesn't come. Sorry, who's who the last one that wanted in on the squad? I can borrow you now. Bell Murtock, B E L M U R. Well, folks, I think we'll call it that in an hour here. Let them go off and play their shit. And um, we'll meet back up here. Uh, we'll have another broadcast later for the U.S. Time Zone Meetup. Thank you for watching, everybody. And if you hit like and subscribe, surely you'd appreciate it. Peace.